Hey everyone, this is Buddy, back with another video, and I'm here to give you guys what you probably heard from your mom or something, or heard it on the news, or from some other person that doesn't have AirPods. Can AirPods give you cancer? Now, essentially this is all wireless Bluetooth earbuds, so if your friend's wearing some wireless earbuds and saying, AirPods can give you cancer, you know, I heard it on the news, that's because they want the clicks online. It's because if they put AirPods in the title, you're going to get a lot more clicks from people wanting to either hate on AirPods or that like AirPods and use them. If you just say Bluetooth headphones, not as many people will click on it. There was a report that came out a couple years ago that recently arose back in the news because it was a slow news day, I'm assuming, or just because a prominent scientist, I think biochemistry professor at the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs, wireless headphones aren't as safe as we assume. Now see, this Jerry Phillips, biochemistry professor, I think that he knows somewhat about something regarding this topic. Now, apparently this other article from Quartz, um, yeah, I know it's from Quartz, but like, Basically, it explains how there's two types of radiation. There's this non-ionizing radiation, which is what the Bluetooth communicates and your cell phones communicate with the towers with. And then there's the uh, ionizing radiation, which is the x-rays, CT scans, that stuff. So basically, we know that ionizing ra radiation causes cancer. We've done studies. It's been long looked at. It does. So that's why you're protected when you go in for x-rays and stuff like that. Now, the ionizing hasn't really been super looked at, mainly because cell phones have came out within the recent decades, as well as been enhanced, as well as been modified, and then now these Bluetooth and wireless options are now new and here again, so they don't really have much um, studies done on them. So they have found out though that there has been some evidence that it caused tumors in the brains of male rats. So some evidence, so it's not clear evidence like ionizing, it's not like there hasn't been any signs of it. So really you do have to be careful with it because probably prolonged exposure, like this other article talks about, um, prolonged exposure will harm you. But it says much of the science points to the absence of harm below certain levels according to this uh, Australian news um, outlet. So basically you're safe if you wear them casually, you know, listen to music here and there during the day, using it for calls or something, but really if you're wearing them 24-7 or too much, you're at a higher risk of that um, brain developing cancer or tumors because like he says that the high levels of radio frequency radiation are right in your ear canal, which is right near your head and brain and blood and stuff that can translate um, to you kind of having issues in the future. Now, is this a necessarily a super big problem and should you go wired headphones like Quartz talks about um, to be the very precautionary principle? I mean, you could, but honestly, I think over time, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal, especially if you're wearing them at low levels. It is something to keep in mind, so maybe the next time that you think I should pop in these headphones for all day, or if you're wearing wireless headphones at night, that could be a problem as well, like those Bose uh, sleep buds that they've come out with. Those might be problematic because if you're sleeping in those for eight hours a day, and then you put in other headphones that are wireless for another like seven hours a day, you're pretty much wearing wireless earbuds the whole day. That could, that could lead to problems down the road, but also we don't have enough technology to say if it does, and who knows, maybe by the time that we actually um, get this brain tumor, we have the technology that can cure them or can better act and solve the problem in the future. Because that's another thing, is that while the tech increases and may cause problems with us in some ways with the radiation, the medical advances in the future could go up and help us with that. So overall, my opinion of the whole thing, I don't think it's that big of a deal or that much to worry about. I think it is always good not to wear headphones or earbuds 24-7 or for, for prolonged periods, especially just because you damage your hearing in your ears that way. I don't think that, I think if you're trying to take care of your ears and hearing, you'll then in turn take care of your brain and the cancer and the radiation that comes from that. Like I said, it's not that big of an issue. I think that it was more of 
someone wanted to bring this up and get some clout or some make a slow news day into something else because hey airpods are in right now everyone's talking about them hey if i say oh my airpod exploded guess what i'm gonna get a ton of clout but that didn't happen so let's just say maybe they caused cancer oh no put that on the headline and everybody will be clicking but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below feel free to like this video if you like videos like this with me giving my opinion and like reviewing stuff like that kind of thing but make sure that big red subscribe button is grayed out down below and that bell icon dinged so you stay updated with all of our videos but thank you guys so much for watching and i will